The Barbados Labour Party, led by the country's Prime Minister Mia Motley, has secured a resounding victory, winning all 30 seats and effectively making way for Motley's second term as leader of the island. The country's elections were held on Wednesday, weeks after Barbados became a republic. Now what this means is that in December, the country removed the British Queen as the head of state and installed a president. Wednesday's elections were held just weeks after the country became a republic, more than one year after when they were constitutionally due. And Motley had opted to call these snap elections as part of efforts to reinvigorate national unity and help the Barbadian people decide on their path forward. After it became clear that she won, Motley told a gathering of her party's supporters that the new government would work towards confronting the more new age challenges ahead. And when we talk about the need for economic diversification, such that a 90% decline in tourism arrivals will never decimate the fear and fortunes of the people of this nation, we were not joking. And I thank you, 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 the people of Barbados, for accepting us at our word that if we do not fix our problems starting from tomorrow, we will not be able to guarantee safety to our people in the next 10 to 15 years. The party had previously held 29 seats following its landslide win in 2018. Now that the party has won all 30 seats, Motley said that she will spend the next few days identifying the members of her cabinet who will work for the people of Barbados. Motley was sworn in on Thursday, and Dale Marshall was also sworn in as the Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs in Barbados. Meanwhile, Verla de Paisa, the President of the Opposition Democratic Labour Party, conceded defeat. Not only did she say that the Democratic Labour Party has to regroup and move forward, but she also said that efforts have to be made to encourage greater voter turnout in future. The voter turnout continues to be depressed. And I do believe that we have to take a serious look at that going forward as to how we reclaim the confidence of our people in the process of democracy. Though the elections are over now, it was marred by complaints that thousands of COVID-positive Bajans were denied a vote. About 5,500 people from a population of just under 300,000 are in isolation due to COVID-19, according to official figures. Meanwhile, President Dr. Irfan Ali, in his congratulatory message to Prime Minister Motley, emphasized that her re-election provides Guyana and Barbados with the opportunity to concretize cooperation plans. Since President Ali's election, Guyana and Barbados have been strengthening ties. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Fishani Raghavir.